Hello YouTube, it is Damien. It's the City of Liverpool, it is non-league to legend. We're here with you today with episode 31 of Non-League to Legend in the second round of the FA Cup. It's the qualifying round of the second round, by the way. I wish it was the actual second round proper. But we've got Tiverton, um, which it sounds a bit like Everton, but it's not. Um, Tiverton are a team of in the same level as us in the Evo Stick Southern Premier South. So we're in the Northern Premier, they're in the Southern Premier. Two teams of very similar level. We go to the Evo Stick themselves and we go by... Uh, um, you know, season preview. Tiverton were expected to finish mid table slash sixteenth. We are obviously, you know, we were expected to get relegated uh, according to the bookies, but we find ourselves in the middle of the pack um, early doors in the season. We go back to the Tiverton team. Their best player is by far one of the best players I've seen play at this level. Um, River Allen looks like a quite a great player in no matter where you look at him. Um, but you know, he would be. Definitely a signing that if he was interested in coming to improve the squad, probably would happen. Anyway, for us, we find ourselves in a playoff spot. We've actually been in a good run of form here in the start of September. Um, since we last looked, we then drew Grain to Grains Grainsboro. And that's going to be Grains Borough Trinity 3-3. Free free. They were currently top of the table in that game. As you can see, though, we kind of threw it away. We were 1-0 down inside two minutes, basically from kickoff, before we scored three goals in the space of five minutes. Birch, Walker, Dudley. When that happened, we had opportunities to go 4, 5, or 6-1 up. We didn't do it. And in the end, we got pegged back just after halftime before an equalizer in the 67th round without the scoring there. Um, we then played Acklington. Acklington, uh, lower league in Damien. That doesn't really match, does it? We won 2 new. Obviously, we beat Bedford and Felton in a game we decided not to bring to you because they were two levels below us. We did win 2-0. It could have been a little bit more. They also had a couple of chances, but, you know, fairly good we were. Um, we then played Hull, Hull Road Rangers. We beat them 2-0 away from home to get our first away win. No, it's not. It's our second away win in the league. Our away form's actually not been the worst. Before we played Windies in the League Cup, we kind of rotated, kind of not. I kind of said to them about the League Cup that I don't really care. Windies are a team that have a very good level, you know, in the Northern Premier League. Division 1 West, so they're one on the lower level below us, but one of the teams that's meant to go up. Um, in the end, rotated and won that game too, which is great. I think they rotated as well. A couple of their key players didn't play. But it leaves us with Tiverton here in the second qualifying round of the FA Cup. Now, look, we need to get through this game. We need to see what's going on, you know, if we can hopefully get to the third qualifying round. Um, the third qualifying round is where we've gone out before. Um, and it's not a place I want to really go out. We have to talk about injuries here. Um, Nathan has picked up a knock, and he's coming back to injury. Um, Dizzy's been playing out on the left just to kind of get him game time to make sure he keeps growing. He loves the club. I love him to bits. He scored a great goal as well in which game? I think it was a Whitby game. It was the first game he played out wide, and he scored an absolute banger. Nothing like crazy, but edge of the box, banged it in. And it was quite a nice goal. Hints why he's going to play out there. Both um, Bonds was actually been passed, been enough for 45 minutes. So the plan is to play Dizzy for 45. And then after 45, play Nathan, um, knowing that this game can't go to extra time and that it will be a replay if we were to draw. So in that in mind, I'm going to put Brett in goals with Turner, Swain and Walker, who are having a very good partnership at the moment, both in decent form. Sumner's going to play at left back, one of the best players that we have on the sheet. We have Dizzy, Louis and Birch in the middle of the park, obviously two great midfielders for the level. Ollie Rose has had a very, you know, pretty good time of it of late, you know. An assist and a goal, and six appearances. He's not bad. Free assist overall for the club as well um, in terms of cup competitions as well. He's been not too bad. Obviously, Dizzy there on the left before. Dudley and McDonald up top, who both been banging in goals so far this season and really putting us, you know, propelling us into that kind of playoff push. I would say we can't call it a playoff push this early, obviously. But, you know, if we can hang in and around that playoffs, you know, push, all of a sudden... You know, you start becoming become a you know involved in the conversation. You're not involved in that uh, relegation battle, which is what we want. Anyway, we are going to go away from home down to the south side of England and play four four two on the break. Not looking to play the uh, really attackive, expansive system. If we could go out here and get a draw I, in a replay, I actually back us in at home to probably beat. Tiverton, but away from home, I expect it to be quite difficult. Anyway, Walker picks it up. His ball there is out there to Sumner. I'm not expecting anything from kickoff, and nothing does happen. I haven't really seen us score from kickoff apart from Dudley scoring once or twice from kickoff. You know, it's not something that like we're sensational out. The teams have done it to us before, so 
Anyhow, 60% possession away from home. This is not the typical City or Liverpool's performance. Not yet anyway, until we obviously get better players in higher divisions. Anyway, Louis, his touch wasn't the best, but does find Dizzy. Dizzy now with the ball on this left-hand side. Beats one, still Dizzy. Ball in, back stick. McDonald there. He looked offside, he's offside. And as the keeper came for it, his blushes have been spared because McDonald obviously got there first. He never looked onside at any stage. And as you can see there, when the ball was played, it was a mile off. And it is still nil-nil. Obviously, would have loved to have been 1-0 uh, up in this game. Don't know if the Lions wanted to miss one. It would have been great. Anyway, time ticking away here. As you can see, Dizzy's not 100% fit. But if he makes it through this half, Bonds will make it through the next half. Anyway, Allen, corner, floats it in. Luca heads away. But only as far as battle, where hits it from distance. What a strike. But apparently, it's been disallowed for offside. And I don't know how. Unless there is someone that has been man-marking the goalkeeper in his ray, I doubt it. Uh, they've given it because it's his distracted his sight of goal. I'm not 100% sure that should be disallowed. Like, I see this get disallowed a lot on FM, but I feel like from a strike from here, and as long as he makes no attempt to play the ball, um, it's on this guy here. So, like, I will admit, I, I take that back. He's walked straight in line of the goalkeeper as it's come through. Good call, linesman. We shouldn't really be disagreeing, you know. It obviously it favoured us the call. We should just keep our mouth shut. Anyway, nil nil. Both teams have the goal disallowed for offside. Ours was definitely rightfully disallowed. That one there's a little bit more contentious. But anyway, forty six minutes played. Nil nil. Away from home. I've always said from the start of the season that we just want our home form, our away form, to be as solid as possible with our home form being good. And even in the cup competition, that kind of rings true too. If we can force replays away from home and then get the home. Um, I do back us to get through a couple of cup ties. Anyway, Harris with the ball. His boy out to Davis. Dizzy, don't worry, is coming off fairly soon. I'm just trying to get, you know, get him to about the 50, 51st, you know, 55th maybe, and before we get Nathan on. Obviously, Nathan hasn't played in a few weeks since he picked up his knock, but Nathan is now going out there for um, for a Dizzy, and off comes off comes Dizzy for Bonswell, and off we go. Nathan obviously knows how to whip a ball and knows how to do well, but anyhow, it is Allen's free kick. The battle heads are at goal. And Alex Battle puts us 1-0 down in the FA Cup. Not the way we wanted to start the stream at all. And it is 1-0 there. Good ball in. Battle with a great header. In the end, keepers left no chance. And it is 1-0. Um, definitely got the players out there to definitely do the job. If we can find a moment. Just no real moment of note coming. In that case, then, we are going to switch it up into the 4-4-2, which is a little bit more attacking. Um, we'll go to the opposition instructions there and really try and press and win this ball back. In terms of maybe um, tactically making a change as well, uh, Rose hasn't had his best game, but obviously knows how to deliver a very good ball in. But I am going to put faith in the Turtle. The Turtle's going out there. Come on, Russell. Get out there. Create a moment, Russ. And let's see what you can do. Anyway, 74, 75 minutes played. I'm going to hope that the boys find a way. And it's a free kick. It's Birch. This is where I wish I had... Ollie Rose on, but who needs Ollie Rose when Mr. Birch steps up and puts it around the wall into the bottom bins? Jack Birch, not our normal free kick take because we just took him off there and Ollie Rose, but he has fizzed that one in bottom bins around the wall. And it is 1 1. We're back in this FA Cup tie. I am going to stay on the front foot here because I feel like going back to the back foot now would be a little bit of a mistake. Both Dadley and McDonald made mistakes. I'm actually going to keep Dadley out there. Um, and bring in Lewis Troke. The only reason why I'm keeping Dudley out there and not McDonald is mainly because of the yellow card. I don't want to get him sent off. There's no need him to miss a game. But Lewis Troke's got speed, and we could hit him on the break. You just never know. 90 minutes played, and it's a highlight. And it's Allen. Allen with the ball. In it there to parry. His ball over the top. Finds McCaffrey. McCaffrey runs inside. 1v1 there. But he looks to chip Brett, and in the end, Brett stands big. And there we are. It's another highlight from the same area, and it's Davies frozen in there to Allen. He can turn and look for Smith. Smith now, his ball all the way back to Davies. He thumps it down the line. It's a great ball to Mick Caffrey. Mick Caffrey's in again. We need Brett to stand up. He doesn't. We're 2-1 down. We went for it, ladies and gentlemen. We got hit on the break. And unfortunately, we probably should have went back to shut up shop yet again. And we didn't. And now we're 2-1 down here in the FA Cup. And staring the FA Cup in, you know, staring FA Cup defeat in the eye. And unless you kind of get a goal from kickoff, it's kind of game over here. It would be nice to see a highlight, and it is. It's Turner. He throws it in the Jack Dudley. He flicks on, but to no one in particular. We kind of need a defensive mistake from here. Anyway, Harris there. Still with Harris. His clearance is pretty good. And into the path of Smith, who looks there for McCaffrey again, who's in. And we can't really pick up McCaffrey. He's just come off the bench and really started destroying us. 
McCaffrey's kind of turned this game on its head, and we're two one down here, and there's not much we can do anyway. Allen now with the ball, whips it in, Bondswell clears only as far as Allen, and there we go. I'll expect this to really be game over, but you know you never know. There's a minute left. We would have to win the ball. We would have to break. We would have to win it pretty late. We'll have to equal us pretty late doors anyway. The header away from Luke it wasn't great. Parry now, Webb to win it. Webb does win it. And we've conceded two goals in the 90th, and that is our FA Cup gone. Really should have, in hindsight, gone back to the counter. I feel like that we were the better team on paper. Maybe we weren't. Maybe it was just wishful thinking, and that we really should have sat in. Instead, we decided to really go for it at 1-1, and unfortunately, it has backfired big time, and I've got to wear that as the coach. And it's going to be game over here, even if we score right now before the referee blows the whistle, which we don't. It would not have mattered anyway. And we have lost 3-1. And yet again, just maybe myself being a little bit uh, too forward thinking, too too aggressive, maybe uh, too much of an attacking mindset of being really wanted to take the game on has cost us maybe a, a replay there at a minimum. And just giving the space there and Caffery off the bench, utilising the space has killed us there twice. And unfortunately in the FA Cup, we're out against Tiverton. In terms of when we're coming back for YouTube for the next episode of Non-League to Legend, um, it will be a league game, I would imagine, and it would probably be a league game of importance. I'm not going to give you a league game until after September, so not like the Ashton game where they're in fifth because we're in the playoffs. Um, I'm going to kind of see what our true form is first and then kind of find teams around our true form. But until next time, episode 31 is gone. It's out the window. I've made a mistake. I'll put my hand up. That's on me, that one there, being a poor coach. But hopefully we will learn, and hopefully we will be stronger for it next year. I really want a cup run. I really want to get to that you know, that first qualifying, that first, sorry, proper round of the FA Cup eventually before we get to, like, Skybet League 2, just so we can bring some money in because we're starting to uh, turn over a loss, a pretty he hefty loss too. We don't want to be too far in the black. Anyway, we did actually pick up some money there for gate receipts, which is pretty cool. Anyhow, from Damien, from City Liverpool, from Non-League to Legend, that is going to be the end of episode 31. If you did like the episode, give it a like. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, we're currently live on Twitch. Link in the description below. Come follow us on the Twitch and come watch all the madness of City Liverpool live as well. Thank you and goodbye.